Okay, we're gonna talk about jeans. Because, and first of all, sorry about this angle, but my wide lens camera isn't working right now, and I don't know why, so I have to use my vlogging camera, and so I have to stand far back. But if you're not a size six or lower, jeans are absolute hell to shop for. And I'm a size 14, sometimes 16, and I can confirm jeans are hell to shop for. And I get a lot of questions about like where to get my jeans, what jeans do you like? And so I did a video recently on TikTok showing like my favorite jeans, so I thought I'd do like a more in-depth video on here to talk to you guys about and show you my favorite pairs of jeans. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Let's turn on some like ambient lighting. No, that doesn't we're not doing that. You know what? We need to we need to pivot, okay? Because because, hello? This is really not working with, with this. Okay, everything's falling. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to do this on the uglier side of my room where all of my cords live. Anyway, so my absolute favorite pair of jeans are these, the ones I'm wearing. These are the Abercrombie Curve Love dad jeans um best jeans ever these are i got them in the curve love which if you're curvy literally at all like if your waist is smaller than your hips get the curve love because you won't get that gapping in the back they're the, my best fitting jeans i've ever owned they also come in different lengths i'm 5'3 so i got the short length and they're just literally the most perfect jeans i own like they have like that vintage look. They're not very stretchy, but they're just super comfortable. So these are 32s. I also have them in a 31, just depending on like some mild fluctuation, one will fit better than the other. Um, why am I acting like I'm drunk? All right, I'm gonna show you. Don't be weird, okay? I'm taking off my pants. Don't be weird. I'm gonna show you what the 31s look like. These are just a little bit tighter and they fit they still fit me like really really well probably better than the 32s but sometimes when I'm just like lounging around the house I'll put on the 32s because they're just more comfy but as you can see here's how they fit favorite favorite pair of jeans like seriously get them nine out of ten times like if I'm wearing jeans this is what I'm wearing but I'm going to show you the other ones I only have four other pairs of jeans that I wear, but honestly, like nine times out of 10, it's these. So I got these are the same dad jeans. I don't know if they still have this exact wash on their website. And I can't remember if I got them in store or not, but these are 31. The same everything, curved love, short. I don't wear these as much, but I love them. Um, they're a little bit tighter because they're like the darker wash, so the denim's just like a little bit different. Just not much, but but just slightly. So these are just a good like mid-wash denim. So I'll wear these sometimes. These are probably my second most worn pairs of jeans. But I really like Abercrombie for sizing. Um, so let me show you another pair of Abercrombie that are not in the Curve Love. And I'll show you why the Curve Love rocks these i these are the first pair of jeans from abercrombie i got and these are 33 so they are just a little bit big in general i think i should have gotten the 32 or 31 they look like they fit because they i haven't worn them since i washed them last um but they stretch out a lot there's a little bit of stretch to them not much but they stretch out a lot so i would definitely like maybe size a little bit down but look okay so I got the short 33 short not curve love look at this okay so if your waist is smaller than your hips get the curve love because it's life-changing I'll still wear these sometimes because I often just wear like bigger shirts but yeah so these are cute and I got these before the dad jeans and honestly, I barely wear them just because they, they just don't fit me that well. And also, if I'm going to wear light jeans, 
I'm going with my tried and true, you know? But Abercrombie is really good. Like, I really love their jeans. I don't know, like, if you had told me in middle school that I'd be in my 30s wearing Abercrombie jeans, I would not have believed you. Okay, so now we're going to talk Old Navy. I, my last two here are from Old Navy. Also a really good size range. A fraction of the cost of the Abercrombie. Abercrombie's still my number one, but... You know, they're expensive. They're like more of an investment. These are the extra high res, sky high, sky high straights in size 14. Downside is you can't choose length um, with the old navy ones. I really am easily won, won over when jeans like come in different lengths. Pants have just always been too long. I mean, who wants to go get things tailored? Not me. Um, but when things do have the rough hem like these, like you, I can just sometimes cut them. But in this case, I just cuffed them, but maybe I'll cut them at some point. But these are just another light wash. I say they're similar to the Abercrombie ones that don't fit me that well. So I'll definitely reach for these before those if I'm going to, if I want like a light wash that, don't, that doesn't have rips in it. But, um, but these fit really well. Um, a little bit of gapping, but really not much at all. So, really good for curves. And have a little bit of stretch to them. Like, they do have that too much, so they still look like that, like, vintage wash. Um, but they have a little bit more than the Abercrombie ones. Okay, last pair, Old Navy. These are the High Rise Slouchy Straight in a 14. These are I think designed to be like ankle pants but because I'm shorter on me they like fit perfectly right above the ankle these don't have a stretch to them at all so they just don't fit as well they are have more gapping in the waist but I like these these are like a good dark wash but they're just not as comfortable like I can't do a squat in these um, but like they're not super tight on me so like they are kind of comfortable but they're like loose in the waist and then like if my thighs were to expand a smidge these would not fit me you know what I mean so it's just just a little weird but they're cute they're cute um okay now I'm gonna put on my faves again because honestly I might as well be wearing sweatpants this is how comfortable they are I love them so much the only annoying thing is that like the rips in the knees like have ripped more just from like sitting pulling my knees up things like that but I feel like it just adds to it but you know why I love these is because you know when you see skinny girls and they're like vintage Levi's and you know damn well you're not gonna find jeans that fit you like that like even the ones that are like vintage inspired like they just don't have the same look and these I feel like give me that same look but they're made for someone with my body type so this is not sponsored by Abercrombie. I honestly wish they would because I'm just a constant walking advertisement for them every single day. But yeah, those are all my jeans. Um, I'll link them down below. Um, don't even ask me about jean shorts. Honestly, I do get comments about that sometimes but because I'm like, you tell me, <laughs> okay? I don't know. I have one pair of denim shorts that fit me. I do love them. They're from H&M last year, so they probably don't have them anymore, but, but H&M does tend to be good um, with their sizing lately, which is kind of crazy because I remember them running really small, but I've had some luck, some luck recently with their, their jeans. Um, that's it. Please don't look at my rash. It is literally still here. It is not fully gone. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's never going to go away. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry my camera is broken, and I'll see you in my next video.